Alright, this one we're going to make our own hotkey for whatever program that you have installed, okay? Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, I'm going to show you the compass way, since most people have compass anyways, okay? So, you have to have the advanced manager, or maybe the other ones, but I'm not sure. I have the advanced manager. And you go into the general options here. Click on that. And where it says command here, uh, that's where we're going to go. Now you can expand this. Um, okay. So this command line zero, one, two, three is gonna match up with the keys binding here, right? It's gonna match up with this. So whatever you type on uh, whatever line, make sure it's the right, uh, you know, key combo. So the first one is a um, X kill. I asked my favorite to kill a frozen app or something, right? It's like force quit. Uh, it's the same thing, okay? So X kill is the command. Uh, now we're gonna assign the key to it, right? Um, it's disabled right now, but you click on it and uh, click on enable, and then we're gonna put uh, grab key combo. Now you click on this and then uh, use your keyboard to whatever combo you like. I'm gonna put uh, control alt insert, okay? And that's my uh, combo for that, okay? Now there's another way to uh, do this. If you have Ubuntu tweaks, um, right here, you can do that too. Uh, in the personal tab, it looks better with the Ubuntu tweaks, anyways. And then it's a shortcut. And I, we already assigned X kill to um, the first one, right? So the second one, we're gonna assign something else. Um, maybe the task manager or the system monitor, I mean, right? So. What's the um, the the command for that? The command for that is gnome dash system monitor, right? And I uh, click on this, and it tells us to uh, the high key that we want. We're gonna put a control alt n, okay? So we have our key combo here, and we have our command, okay? <coughs> so let's try this out. Uh, let's say um. Our terminal here is frozen, right? Now, how would you kill that? You use our hotkey, which is um, to X kill, right? Control Alt Insert, and we have the little X, right? Click on it, and it's gone. See? So that's what X kill does. Uh, it's a force quit applet. Uh, let's say um, you want to use the system uh, monitor, right? So Control Alt N. And we have our system monitor, right? So you can assign any hotkey that you like uh, to any program that you have installed, okay? Um, if you don't know the commands to it, like uh, you know the commands here, you don't know the commands to it, you can always head up to um, your menus, okay? Your menu here and uh, edit menu. Right click on it, edit menu, right? And it should open now. Um, with this, uh, let's say I don't know, maybe in the sound and video that you want Audacity or something, all right. And you don't know the command to it, properties, and it's Audacity. See, just copy paste that in there, it's done. It's usually the name of it in lowercase uh, for the program, but if it's not like a uh, what is this one? Audio CD extractor. What is that really? Okay. Uh, this one is right here. See, uh, sound juicer and then some percentage and you just copy paste that into your uh, command list in here, right? And assign the hotkey and it will activate it. So that's how you would do uh, the shortcut keys or the hotkeys to your liking. Okay. Um. So I definitely dig it, you know. Anything that fucking freeze on me, I just you know uh, use the X kill thing and I'll just kill it off. So go try that out. It's probably the most useful one. <laughs>